Jay Flores, and this is the short version of my life experience as a disabled person. Prior to 2013, I was a happy, healthy, functioning, whole person, living my best life. I was a fresh commodities broker, and I sold produce around the world. Although shortly into 2013, I noticed a large lump in my abdomen, went to the doctor, and we realized it was a huge ovarian cyst that needed to be removed. On April 3rd, 2013, I went in to the hospital to have it removed, and something went wrong. The surgeon sliced my intestine during that surgery and failed to believe the level of pain I was in until five days later when I got a fever of 104.3 and I was dying of sepsis. Unfortunately, because it took so long to realize that I was that sick, uh, it led to a series of complications and left me wheelchair bound for two years. I had five bags hanging from my stomach. There's my dad always looking at me through the hospital bed. Wish he was still here with me. Three years later, once I was able to walk and had better function, I'm not healed, but I can move better. I decided to follow my dreams in entertainment. And boy, did the universe open right up for me. I shortly after that decision met a director. I became his assistant and I immediately started working with legends and icons and super famous people. Total starstruck when I met Katie Spell. And all the while, I'm going to all of these medical procedures. You know, I am a legally disabled person, pronounced disabled by a series of doctors. But I get judged sometimes because I look fine. Here I am in Cabo with social media influencers. And then the next week I spent on the couch in writhing pain and severe depression. I have to put on a brave face because I work around celebrities and in entertainment and I don't want to be a downer. I don't want them to know that I endure these chronic issues. I suffer from PTSD, anxiety, depression, digestive issues, debilitating chronic pain. I'm at a doctor in a doctor's office in a medical procedure more times than anybody knows. I hurt People give me dirty looks when I park in disabled parking because I look fine and I put on a brave face. I still have to convince doctors that I'm sick. I, I have an enormous scar and 3,000 pages of medical record that because they might see pictures of me that I look fine, they don't believe that I'm sick. So here I am, all smiles, but on any given day, I can be in an MRI machine or in an emergency room. And I am in writhing pain on a daily basis. And this is what they don't see. They don't see that I can barely move. They don't see that I can barely function. They don't see that I'm sad. And this is what they don't see. And this is what I want them to know. propping me up. My back is on fire. My tailbone is on fire. I'm slunched over, slouched over. I, no hair, no makeup. This is the reality of my life. It's what they don't see that I have to endure in order to continue the process of what I love.